the Concept OK Art in Oklahoma exhibit, it's been, we've been planning it a long time, and the idea is to give a new format for us to look at art that's being made in Oklahoma and try to see how that connects with art made in the region. And so we've invited different curators and different voices to kind of look at the art that's being made in Oklahoma and, and find some great ideas and great artwork and put it all into one big exhibition. Allison Hurst is a guest curator from Fort Worth. She works at the Fort Worth Modern and she also does curatorial projects on the side. And she's an emerging curator who really has a good sense of um, what's being made now, trying to understand artists who may have performance in their work or may be doing something um, with unusual materials. And so she really approached um, the residency artists uh, to try to understand their ideas. And she selected a Dallas-based artist to do a specific project um, in residence at the Hardesty Art Center. And so we think it's gonna be really great to have two Oklahoma artists there creating new work and new projects, and then also this Dallas-based artist. So we can kind of see if there's um, commonalities in their ideas, and so they can get to know each other as well. My name is Narciso Arguelles. I'm a practicing visual artist as well as an art professor. Uh, most of my subject matter revolves around the issues uh, concerning uh, Chicanos, which includes uh, indigenous uh, issues as well as European issues. Uh, the work really is that mixture uh, that, uh, that defines being a Chicano. I was lucky enough to grow up in a farming community things that were available to me were just long hours of playing on the farm. Uh, we had uh, tools, my dad built our house, so there was tools around, leftover wood, and that must be where I get my uh, our artistic like inclination, uh, working, uh, making my own toys, um, and then noticing also the neighborhood filled with uh, vibrant colors, and we made do what we, with what we had. When I was pursuing my bachelor's degree, um, started learning about photography, so I started documenting the, my life uh, at the border. I still live there, my mom still lived there in San Isidro. Um, I felt like someone should record this very uh, surreal place. Uh, I mean, be, when I tell people about it, it they have a hard time believing everything. They think I'm making it up or like, you know, giving it a little bit more drama by <laughs> embellishing. But no, uh, if I do anything, I, I tone it down or I don't tell people uh, all of the story. Uh, just, you know, you live there and you hold on to what you hold on to and you, you reveal things you want to reveal to people. And sometimes my work can be a little bit personal and sometimes it's uh, very issue based. Uh, the work got noticed uh, by David Avalos. Uh, David Avalos uh, started a, a, a collaborative art group called the Border Art Workshop. Uh, the Spanish name would be Taller de Arte Fronterizo. Uh, some of the well-known members uh, would be Guillermo Gomez Peña. Uh, he won the MacArthur uh, Foundation, the so-called Genius Award. The, the group got a lot of notor notoriety, a lot of press. The goal of the group was to educate people uh, and to give assistance. So sometimes we would raise money, sometimes we would uh, uh, donate our work, uh, donate our time. Uh, we would put on exhibitions to highlight different issues, hoping to get media to shed light to these issues. The, I, again, it was to bring about change at the border specifically. When I first saw Narciso's proposal and visited with him, what I was really um, interested in was the fact that he was doing something unlike anyone else in Oklahoma was doing, to my knowledge. Um, what he's doing is, it's very, it's very much related to the identity politics of the 1980s and 90s, but he's doing it in a new and exciting way. He's doing it through um, street art, and that's something that was really interesting about his project. The project that I'm working on is called Heaven Spots. It's an old street art term, uh, meaning hard to reach areas where uh, street artists or writers or graffiti artists, whatever you want to call them, uh, 
uh, attempt. Uh, sometimes uh, the better known ones are billboards. Uh, oftentimes they're high up, hard to reach areas, and you get some notoriety if you are able to uh, hit one of these places. The meaning of this phrase, heaven spots, it has a dual meaning. One of them is being, okay, this is paradise. This is a choice spot. It's way high up there. It's heaven. The other, the, the flip side is sometimes uh, people uh, get hurt or sometimes they die falling off, uh, uh, they get hit by trains, they fall off bridges or billboards um, and they get hurt or they die, And which is the other side of that meaning, uh, they're in heaven and these writers are called angels. What's also great about Narcisa's project is that it's both inside the institution and outside the institution. Uh, he's going to be having billboards at the baseball stadium, murals nearby AHA. There's also going to be the flags running throughout the streets, so it's the most democratic way to present your artwork ever. So that's a really great way to engage a community that's not normally coming to the art institution to see these projects, and hopefully it's a way to draw them in as well. It's important for, for uh, the, the work to be out in the community. It, again, it stirs questions, uh, curiosity, hey, what is this? There's 15 flags, they're gonna be around town kind of like making their way towards the, the gallery. Um, so the idea here is to be out where the people are. It's not in your face. I didn't want it to be in your face. I want it to be very positive, uplifting, inclusive, but I didn't want to back off some of the issues, uh, uh, some of the political issues, because I, this is a stage that I, and I, I want to take advantage of speaking for my people.